So what are the top five scams that actually work out there and scammers still use to this day to scam not just old people, your grandma and your grandpa, but also people like us, people that know exactly how scams work and exactly what to not do when you're actually trying to get scammed or not get scammed, okay? Because these scams, I'm mentioning in this video guys, these scams are so simple to the point that it's like scary because you never really overthink these actions you actually take. But in reality, it might mean you got scammed a few times. So if you don't know, well, watch this video till the end because you'll be surprised. 100% guarantee that these scams are simple but also very effective in getting your information and also stealing your identity and also taking money from your wallet. And also, um, don't try this at home because I want to make sure you guys understand this. I'm not telling you this so you try it at home. That's not what I'm doing. I'm telling you this so you avoid it happening to you. Okay. And if anybody tells you like, Hey, try this or do this, say no, that is a scam. Jail time, jail time. I don't want any jail time. So there you go. Now, if you guys don't know me, my name is Cy Bryson. I'm an accountant and I upload videos on YouTube every single day. Subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so you get notified and do me a favor and smash that like button. Okay. Now, Here's a question for you guys, okay? And be honest, don't lie, no need to lie. I've been scammed in the past before, it was one time, and I got scammed for a PS4, fake money, long story, I'll tell you later. Now, comment down below, guys, and let me know, have you ever been scammed before? Comment down below, let me know, and if you have, comment down below and let me know exactly how it happened and how much money you lost. And if you haven't, guys, I have some news for you, okay? You might think you never got scammed before, but you probably have because these methods are so common that you won't even notice when that shit happens. By the way, everyone kind of got scammed when the entire leak of everyone's social security happened with um, Equifax, so there you go. It kind of happened to everyone already, but that's not the matter. Let's talk about these five scams that actually still work in 2019 and also 2020, depending on when you're watching this video. Now, the first one, if you don't know, is actually ATM scams. Now, if you guys don't know this, okay? I use an ATM almost every single week, maybe twice a week, okay? And every time I use an ATM, I don't really think about it. I use my ATM, I'm good to go, no big problem. And usually, I use the ATMs in my branch, in my bank. However, I also have the SoFi money card, which means I can use any ATM in the world and get my money refunded to me. So in reality, I don't have to pay a fee, so it's no big deal for me, so I use any ATM out there. But the problem is this, guys. You won't believe this. You know whenever you put your card into the ATM? Well, that skull is skimmer. Now, a skimmer is basically what scans your card. Well, guess what happens, okay, guys? A scammer will come by and put a little adjustable skimmer on top of that skimmer. So whenever you actually put in your card, guess what happens now? It scans your card. But tell me, does that mean I have to come back to the ATM to get my information? The answer is no. When they scan your card with a skimmer and you put it in there, you take it out, well, the scammer gets a text to his message with all the information on your credit card, which is awesome, right? Well, no, not for you, but great for them. Now, the second thing is this, guys. When it comes to ATMs, you're probably wondering, Tommy, okay, they have my numbers and the back to it. However, guess what, Tommy? They don't have my PIN. And my PIN, they can't do anything without my PIN. The answer is no, guys. You're wrong. Here's why. Because basically, they also install a keypad on top of the keypad where you actually put in your code. So whenever you type in that code right there, Boop, 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 boop. Well, that sends up another text message with also your pin. But tell me, okay, doesn't matter. Maybe it won't function, blah, blah, blah. Well, good excuse. However, usually they also have cameras installed around the ATM. So now I can see exactly what numbers you typed in without having to overthink it. But I'll probably notice the camera. No, the answer is the camera is actually hidden. To the point where I myself, in the picture that I saw online, by the way, this is the camera that she put out there. And this camera is so small, like no one can actually notice it if you ask me, okay? It's very hard to notice when there's something like this. But tell me, okay, how can I prevent this happening to me? Well, the answer is, what I usually do is I only use the ATMs instead of a, instead of like a, like a chase bank, like all the way inside. Why? Because I have security guards out there and a scammer usually won't be that brave to actually try it. But the key is, whenever you use an ATM, Grab that skimmer and shake it up and wiggle it to try to see if it comes off. On top of that, grab that keypad and shake it up also. Just shake everything, okay? Shake everything to make sure nothing is coming off and it's like not adjusted properly because ATMs are made pretty securely. So if anything seems flimsy, well, it's probably a sign that you're being scammed. On top of that, look out for cameras all around to make sure they don't get your pin. But last thing here, Tommy. 
What I don't understand is, okay, they might get my PIN and also my credit information, but how can they use it? The answer is, guys, they literally make, guess what, credit cards and debit cards out of your information, and they can do that through a device which I won't mention. However, they can buy that device on the dark web. It's like a little device. You put it in, and you actually make your own card. You put the whole numbers, and you even change the entire like slip. It's crazy. It gets deep, deep, deep. However, I don't even want to go there. FBI watching right now saying, Tommy, are you doing this? The answer is no. That is federal time, and I will not risk my freedom for doing any scams of this nature or any scams at all. So basically, guys, they can get your information like that. On top of that, if they can't do that, the average camera will just send, will sell your information to someone else that can do that on the dark web for like $15 to $100, depending on how much money you have in your bank, which they can also see because they just saw you taking money out of the entire ATM. Now, that's scary, but it's part of the game, okay? So that's why when I use an ATM, I shake everything up, and you see me like looking at the ATM like this, okay? That was like two days ago. The owner looks at me. He's like, what are you doing with ATM? I'm checking for, I'm checking for, I'm checking for cameras, man. I'm checking for skimmers. I'm checking for the keypad. I'm just paranoid at this point because you can't really trust anything. So I just like shake everything around me. Now, the second thing, guys, the second scam <laughs> that actually worked. By the way, this is why I say you won't notice when you actually get scammed, okay? Now, the second thing is actually called the double swiping. Okay, now tell me, what is the double swiping and how does it work? Well, I'll tell you a story first, okay? I was at a restaurant and, you know, I was with my girlfriend and I noticed something weird took place, but I didn't really think anything of it. Now, here's what happened. I might be wrong and it's what makes me so paranoid at this point because once you know this stuff, you're like paranoid all the time. So basically, I'm in the, in the restaurant with my girlfriend and I give the lady, the waiter, my credit card, okay? And I'm like, hey, hey, here's my credit card, okay? This is obviously a business meeting. I'm, I'm clear about that. But it's obviously like a business expense because it's like a, a, we're talking about business here in, the, in, this, in this date. However, guys... When I gave her my credit card, she swiped it. She's like, oh, it's not, it's not, it doesn't seem to be working. I'm like, okay. So she swiped it on the keyboard also. I'm like, okay, so you swiped it here. It didn't work. And you swiped it on the keyboard. But little did I know that, by the way, I didn't get scammed because I haven't noticed anything weird going on. However, guys, whenever someone does a double swipe, what they actually do is this, right? They actually swipe it on the entire like normal swiping system to actually get, you know, to actually like charge you the money, but then swipe it again on a different system just to record all your information. And that's what gets freaky because I've been in so many stores where they grab my, my card, my debit card, every all the cards because I trust them. And just like swipe left and right and swipe here, swipe here. I'm like, okay, did it swipe? Like what's going on? I, I, I clean it, I grab it, I do anything, but it doesn't swipe. I'm like, oh, oh. so you're telling me all this time you were, you were, you were trying to scam me, bro? Now, tell me how do I prevent this? Well, the answer is, do not let them swipe your card twice, okay? And tell me, how do I do this? What if the store tells me, like, hey, we won't accept it unless you swipe it twice? The answer is, I don't care. I won't buy your products. And by the way, if you want to, you can actually call Visa and report the entire business because they're not supposed to do that if your card has a chip in it. There's no double swiping at all. It puts your information at risk because even though they're not always trying to scam you, they're trying to, like, get your information in their database, but that also makes your information prevalent and at risk to people out there that might try to hack their system. By the way, the reason companies want your information is because now they can see exactly what you're buying, what you're not buying, and that way they can study your shopping habits. But I'm not talking about shopping habits here. I'm talking about people swiping your card to make a duplicate of it and then later on spend that money or basically just go out there and sell your information on the dark web. And that's why this kind of freaks me out because I know for a fact you guys too have swiped your card as somewhere more than once and you haven't thought anything about it but really that could be a possible scam and that's what's so scary about it now the third thing guys okay the third is actually fake checks and also fake money orders and also fake deposits tommy no one is stupid enough to actually deposit a check that's not theirs in a bank account no one is going to do that it's not true the answer is you are wrong because scammers have gotten really smart to the point where they actually caught one of my subscribers here if you're watching this video, I'm going to share your story. I'm not sure your name, obviously, but the story is very interesting, so I will be sharing it right here. Now, here's what happened to my subscriber, okay? Well, basically, he was on Facebook, like everyone else in the 2020 century or something like that, and he was on Facebook, and he goes on Facebook, and he sees an ad for a job. When he sees this ad, he's like, okay, I'm going to click this ad, I'm going to apply. He applies for the job, and then he got accepted. Boom, awesome, I just got a job. Now, when he gets his job, it turns out that the company said, we're going to train you here for like one week or two weeks online. He gets trained to do whatever job it was, and he gets a check, <laughs> mailed out to him for the training. Now, when he deposits the check into his account, they're like, oh, 
Sorry, we made a mistake. Can you send back this much money? Because we actually paid you double and not like the full amount. Well, more than full amount. And he says, okay, no problem. He sends the money back. It turns out the fake, I mean, the check was fake and it actually bounced back. But the bank cleared it at first. And now all the liability, because now his account is in red. Well, now all that liability is up to him. Now he has two options. He either pays it back in full and loses all the money, or he cancels the bank, but also gets blacklisted from that bank and will never do business there again. So that's why you don't want to deposit anything into your account. On top of that, my, what is it, my, my, what is it called? My girlfriend, oh, I don't know why I said my sister for a second, but my girlfriend's um, brother, that's why I said my, my sister, because my brother, you get the point. Now, my, my girlfriend's brother actually got scammed because basically a guy told him outside of his ATM, hey, Here's the thing, I have a check right here, I just got paid, but I don't have a bank account, so I want to deposit it here, and I don't want to have to pay a lot of money over there at the cash checking place because they charge me money. And he was like, okay, no problem, I'll deposit it here, and the guy said, okay, you deposit it, I'll give you 20 bucks, no problem there. Now, he deposits the check into the entire account, and he, the guy gives him $20, and he's like, okay, awesome, he's made $20. But the two days later, the bank says, hey, that check wasn't good, it's fraudulent, it wasn't yours, and guess what happens now? His account is negative, the guy had the cash already, and he just got $20, but now he owes $1,000, okay? And that's why, again, do not ever, ever, promise me this, okay? Don't ever accept any checks that you don't know, especially from companies you actually don't know. Because not just people, it's also companies out there that try to do the system to you, and it's all the scammers getting smarter and wiser with time. Now, the fourth way. By the way, you can prevent it, again, by not accepting checks and not doing anything weird and giving anyone your account number or your routing number. Now, the fourth way, guys, I think everyone here has fallen for this at some point, and it's actually um, fake listings and products being sold online, for example, on eBay. Now, I had a friend, guys, and this friend of mine, he was a pretty nice guy, smartest guy in class, to be honest, I'm not kidding, and he literally ordered, <laughs> it's funny, he ordered a camera, it was a very nice camera. It cost like 500 bucks, okay? But he paid $175, I think, like 175 And he said, you know what, Tommy? I got a great deal because it was like on eBay. You bid for it and you got it. That's awesome. Like, clap, clap. Great, bro. Now, when the camera came in the mail, he literally got a sticker with the camera on it. I'm not lying. That's what happened. And guess what? Back then in those days, eBay didn't have like um 30 day money protection. So literally eBay said, hey, you share the description and you shouldn't buy things you don't know. So he was out of $175 and all he had was a sticker of a camera. So you got a picture of, of a camera and not an actual camera. That's how crazy things are. So how do you prevent this? Do not, well now it's different because eBay has 30 day protection. You can buy with PayPal to protect yourself also. So now it's very hard to get scammed like this. However, you never know. Even if it's eBay or online or the cash app or anything like that, please do not buy anything from someone that's not reputable. So for example, if you go on eBay, look at the person's on profile, make sure it has a lot of stars, positive comments, and that way you know they're official and they won't risk their accounts. And if, even if they're like, are they fake? If they're not fake? Well, the answer is this. eBay has a great policy. Just make sure you buy something within the policy and not something illegal you shouldn't be buying in eBay in the first place, okay? That's number four. Be very careful when buying things online, guys, okay? Now, number five. This is the one that got me a little scared, okay, guys? This is the one that got me like, okay, thinking. Now, Number five is actually hotspot scams. Tell me, what is this? What do you mean like a hotspot scam? Well, if you've ever been to like Starbucks or a store or a deli and you're just there for a while, you're like, okay, let me just connect to the Wi-Fi or the gym. You're like, okay, I'm going to connect to the Wi-Fi real quick. No big deal. In 2020, 2019, everyone uses Wi-Fi. No big deal. Everyone uses it. Now, the answer is this, guys, okay? A scammer might have a hotspot open on their laptop and whenever you connect, and you have like internet, you're like, okay, awesome, I'm using my, my phone right here, this is awesome, playing some Nintendo Switch right here, or doing whatever you want to do, okay? Well, not well, not Nintendo Switch, that should be like a laptop or a phone. Well, here's what they do, guys. They go into your entire like phone or laptop, and they start minding your data from financial information to all your information whatsoever that's on that laptop, and they get it all through a hotspot. So, tell me, how do I prevent this? Well, I'm pretty sure you've seen those ads on Facebook and also here on YouTube where they talk about like, hey, guys, here's an ad. Um, get NordVPN. VPN is very important. Well, the answer is yes, guys. VPNs are very important. Now, this video is not sponsored by NordVPN. However, they do have a sale on their website right now. And it wouldn't be cool of me not to offer this product just because I'm not getting paid from it. So I have a link down below to NordVPN. If you want to sign up today, 
I think it's like sixty dollars for an entire like three years, or like uh, like a year or so. So check out the pricing link down below. And if you want to sign up for VPN to protect yourself and using like public Wi-Fi, then cool. That's what I would do. And when I was like three months ago, I was using like um Starbucks Wi-Fi, and I like came out out of that like paranoid because now I'm like, okay, was that Starbucks Wi-Fi or somebody else's Wi-Fi? I just don't know. And that's why you want to be super careful when it comes to using public Wi-Fi that you don't know. By the way, this happens a lot in. You know, like vacation areas that when you go out of America in those like locations where you're actually like just like there for like a tourist place, it happens a lot there. So be very careful when it comes to using Wi-Fi that you don't recognize and you don't have any like history with. Okay, that's my tips. And those are the five scams that actually go on out there every single day. Now comment down below and tell me, did you fall for any of these or have you not? Or are you scared now? Comment down below. Let me know. I'm pretty sure you're probably scared because a lot of these are very simple, but also very effective. Now, if you guys like this video, like this video. Really appreciate it. On top of that, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get notified. And if you want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, uno uno, or you just need therapy from these scams right here, well, just DM me on Instagram, Tiny Brian. Bryson. And on top of that, before I go, if you want to find out the top seven illegal ways to actually make money right now, well, watch this video right here, but don't do that stuff. And on top of that, if you want to start turning around, click my face right here. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching and peace.